Alright, so let's take a look at another optimization problem. Uh, check out my other ones. I have quite a few. There, you can find them in the derivatives playlist on my channel. So it says a box with an open top is to be constructed from a square piece of cardboard three feet wide by cutting out a square from each of the four corners and bending up the sides. Find the largest volume such a box can have. All right, so let's uh, let's draw a picture of this thing. So we've got a box here, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut out a square from each corner. like this okay and, and then you'll have a we'll fold it right here and see this part this part this part and this part will be folded up and that will be the side of the box and it'll be an open top all right so let's look at this well this is the distance we're looking for, x. Okay. So we need to know what size square we need to cut out of each corner. Well, let's see. We've got we know the distance from here to here is three feet and we know and we know the distance from here to here is three minus two x okay so from here to here is three and then minus this x and minus this x okay and then we know that this will be the same thing See, I know that's three feet. I know the distance from here to here is three minus two x. Now, we want to find a box with largest volume. So, what is the volume of a box? Well, the volume is the length times the width times the height. See if you have a, let's just look at this box here, okay, so this this could be the, the length of the box, the width, and then the height, and multiply those together. Alright, <clears throat> so let's look at this, well, if I, if this section and this section get folded up and then this section and this section are also folded up okay see th these will act like the height of the box that will be the sides of the box the height of it okay and so if this is folded up straight up and this is folded straight up you can see from here to here that would be the length of the side and also if this is folded up and this is folded up the length of the side would be from here to here alright so the volume of the box would be the length of this side times the length of this side which is just 3 minus 2x times 3 minus 2x okay so that's length times width and then times the height which is in this case X alright so the volume that's gonna be 9 minus let's see is that uh, 12x 12x plus 4x squared and then I'll distribute the X here so that's gonna give me 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 9x Alright, so we want to maximize this volume here. 
so I need to find the derivative. So the derivative is 12x squared minus 24x plus 9 and we'll set this equal to 0 so 12x squared minus 24x plus 9 equals 0. I can when I solve this I can divide everything by 3 See, 3 goes into all those evenly I can divide that to both sides so that's going to give me 4x squared minus 8x plus 3 equals 0 and then this will factor so that's going to be 2x minus 1 2x minus 3 so that's going to be what you know, 6x and 2x that'll give me 8x so I get x equals 1 half or x equal 3 halves all right so I mean right off I know this is not going to be an answer okay because if I take 3 halves and plug it into here well, 2 times 3 halves, look at this, 3 minus 2 times 3 halves. Well, that's going to leave me with 3 minus 3, and I know the side can't be 0. Okay. So I'll get x equal 1 half. Okay. So if you, if you look at this, we can actually draw our number line, and you can see it'll maximize. Uh, x equal 0 and x equal 1. So I will need to put this into the derivative. Well, we can just plug it into this part of the derivative where it's factored. It'll be easier to evaluate. So I plug the 0 in. That's a negative times a negative is a positive. Plug the 1 in. That's going to be a negative. I'm sorry. Plug the 1 in. That's positive here. Plug the 1 in. That's negative here. So that's a negative. And you can see I have a maximum. And so x equal one half, that's that's the dimension that this has to be. So it's it's basically six inches, half a foot, because remember we're in feet. Well, they want to know find the largest volume. So the volume well, we take the one half, and well, we can plug it into here. So that's going to be, let's see, one half. That's x times three minus two times one half times three minus two times one half. Actually, I could just square that, couldn't I? All right. And so then I get vo uh, the volume is 2 cubic feet. All right, so I hope that video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.